What's interesting here as we go over to that park place, Assassin's Creed Shadow executive producer admits Ubisoft is going, quote, beyond what is acceptable truth when they're oh. in their game. Uh, if that I mean, you have black, not a samurai guy and female ninja. Uh, yeah, I think we've gone beyond what was possible in this particular period. Of course, look, I was playing Assassin's Creed Mirage last night, which I actually liked that game. It was kind of a return to form a little bit for the franchise. It's a shame it's going to be followed by this turn. But in that one, you're warping around doing chain assassins and st a, a chain assassinations. And like you have superpowers, there's a genie in it, right? It's they've gone beyond accepted truth for quite a minute now. Didn't didn't you have a Medusa boss fight in Odyssey? Uh, I, I, I would not say I would not say no. I don't know that for yeah. sure. But I think but yeah. you literally had a boss fight with Medusa. I think most people ex expect when we talked about this briefly yesterday the yesterday the idea of taking creative liberties right but they've consistently over and over again talked about how they're going to honor honor the uh the heritage and honor the you know the, the the area the time frame and all this along the lines this goes back to the uh, interview with the new york times we touched on this briefly last week but um the guy came out and he told the outlets he said uh this once again from that park place says we want, we want people to be passionate about history. What does that mean? Stay true to the well-documented moments and historical figures, but not shying away from having a, having a critical point of view and defying cliches to go beyond what is the, accept, the accepted... Blow me, Ubisoft. Blow me. Absolutely blow me. You remember when the first game came out? Yeah, of course. So they reviewed that game at XO6, or, or they previewed that game at XO6 had a great showing you remember Jade Raymond was on and it kind yeah. of messed up at the end but it was dude it turned a lot of heads people were really really excited they showed it off at E3 it was a big thing and everyone was like oh hey it's going to be this and they were saying on stage this is going to be a game about a member of the Hashashin in the Holy Land killing Saracens and Crusaders that's the premise of this game anybody remember that Somehow, by the time we got to launch, they were no longer called the Hashashin. They were called just assassins. Does anybody know why that happened? No. It's because we wanted to be sensitive to the mm. quasi-terroristic Muslims who are descended from the actual Hashashin. We've got to be we've got to be sensitive to their cultural history and their history. Oh, but Japan, they can go fuck off. Right? Oh no, no, no! But Japan not having black samurai. All the all the historians who are fact checking them on the actual history of the feudal period in Japan. No, 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 no! They can go kick rocks. We'll bend over backward. We'll splay our sandalwood scented assholes for the Hashashin ancestors. No, no, no! But but freaking Japan, they can come with all the receipts in the world, and we'll still make our goofy female ninja black samurai game. Freaking seriously, gargle with lie. Well, the article continues. Thank you for that, Razor. It's wonderful. Sorry, I did just no, no, I love it. I love it. It's great. Uh, Benoit said in May, says, we're at the end of the Sengoku era. In a turning point of Japan history, Assassin's Creed is well known for its depictions of the history and accurate recreation of the world. And it's what players can expect from for, with Assassin's Creed Shadows. We're showing real historical figures, such as Oda no, uh, Nobunaga, Nobunaga, and a lot of events that happened during that time. So you're not only playing in feudal Japan, you're learning you're learning about this fantastic time period. Um, now, this is kind of interesting here. The uh, same person says, ironically, the New York Times, Zachary Small, also shared that Kote believes this, quote, approach would inevitably open Assassin's Creed to more criticism in the future. But the developers have decided it's worth it's it's uh, it was a risk worth taking. So they knew that this was going to be a thing. As Kote previously admitted that he was, this is a hilarious, emotionally broken by Elon Musk for simply posting that DEI kills art when he found that Assassin's Creed Shadows <laughs> featured it a does. game. <laughs> and no one has broken art harder than Ubisoft. Let's be real. Kote, Kote informed Gamefile how this post broke him. The tweet generated emotions that the first thing I wanted to do was go back on X that I had deleted and just tweet back. I just took a step back. I have a mindfulness app on my phone. <laughs> 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 
we have an app for being a mature adult now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we have an app to remind you not to be a spurg on the internet. If that isn't the purest distillation of this French fagaloon state of mind and level of emotional maturity, I don't know what will instruct you. My, like, my God. A mindfulness app. That's right. Hey, uh, before you hit send, don't be a retard. Oh, thanks, app. <laughs> Jesus. Normally, my upbringing and parentage would have actually sorted that out for me, but Jesus. Well, he's from France. It's all right. Uh, it says, and I did a bit of the of mindfulness to try to explore the emotions that this tweet created. <laughs> I mean, this is spectacular. It truly wow. is. He then accused Musk of feeling hatred uh, uh, while being the one who actually accepted hatred. For me, Elon, it's sad. He's just feeding hatred. It's, uh, I had one of those, I had a lot of three word replies that came to mind. Nevertheless, Kote continued, by attacking someone like Elon, I'm not convinced people about our, uh, I will not convince people about our point of view as a team. So uh, a there you go. Completely fictitious point of view. Yep. That's and right. it's ridiculous. Let's, and he's, I find this offensive only because, like, come on, we know why they did this. They did this because they have a checklist. They have to include a female protagonist. They have to include a protagonist of color. That's literally handed down from on high. They've taken DEI money. They're 15% owned by Tencent. Like, this is not a mystery. We don't have to sit here and interpret tea leaves. Stop insulting our intelligence by pretending you were inspired to do this. You were inspired by the giant checklist that you have to fulfill or you will not have a job. Blow it at your ass. But you know what this reminds me of? The whole, the truth is like, there's the truth and then there's my truth. And that's, right. that's basically the entire thing that I got from that. I think it'll be really important for people to see. So, uh, well, but it continues here as we have more to the story, Razor. So, oh. uh, Kote then uh, shared, shared that he believes Ubisoft will convince players of his team's point of view which we know is going to be, which is going, quote, once again, beyond what is the acceptable truth within the first 15 minutes of the game. Uh, Yatsuke is very, very grounded in the history of the franchise and how we make our choices. We got a super mysterious historical character from which not, not much is known about. And for us, it was what we want in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so... um he says, what Elon says is not the game we're building. People will have to play the game themselves. And if if within the first 11, 11 minutes, 47 seconds, they are not convinced of what we're doing, we can have that discussion. Well, I guess that's a pretty quick turnaround. 11 minutes and 47 seconds. Very oh, precise. Wow. So I, I guess it goes back to, it goes back to window shopping, right? The idea that People make their decisions. Yeah, and there's Ghost of Tsushima in the other window. Like, <laughs> right. talk about a miscalculation. It's now been released on PC. You can mark my words. When this game comes out, there will be a spike in Ghost of Tsushima players on Steam. Mm. Mark my words. It's interesting. He he then he follows up with saying... If it's as bad as we're all thinking, and it looks pretty bad. Well, whether it's good or not, right? That's the thing about this. Because he, this guy says it's an Assassin's Creed game and I believe it's the best one we've ever built. Okay, cool. That, you know, that's what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to be proud. But once again, will people take the dive? Will they pay the 60 or $70 for Assassin's Creed given the publicity around this? Whether the game is, is good or not, it doesn't matter. You got to get people in the door first to try it. And I don't know if people are, are willing to give it, you know, I don't know if Japan as a country is willing to give this a try. Uh, I'm yeah. sure some people will just uh, just kind of stick their uh, foot foot their uh, foot in the water, but I, and just kind of stream it. But I don't know this. I think this you will know, be fine. Ghost of Tsushima was controversial in Japan, right? Like even and they were pretty respectful of Japanese history. A lot of stuff that is like done by Westerners sometimes has some level of controversy incumbent in it. But this is just you're going completely the other way just to make a ham-fisted political point and you're not even owning up to it that's the part that galls me like we know where this is coming from you weren't sitting there in a focus group together going you know what i'm inspired to make the black samurai female ninja game that's what i'm gonna do in feudal japan ridiculous i think that's that's the one thing when it, 
I mean, he says this. He says it in in his quote. It says, "We want people to be passionate about history." Blah 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 blah. Uh, uh, stay true to the well documented moments and historical figures, but not shying away from having a critical point of view and defying cliches to go beyond what is the acceptable truth. What the fuck does that even mean? You know, like the acceptable truth. Yep. Like it's it, you're just going out of your way to to be numbskulls to be numbskulls. It's crazy.